right, our next step in uh, preparation is to polish the sample. And we'll start with um, uh, preparing this glass plate so that it will stay onto the um, table. We're going to use that as our uh, very flat surface for our aluminum oxide abrasive. Um, we use aluminum oxide abrasive because it is not quite as sharp as silicon carbide or diamond, but it does not wear as much as silicon carbide. So it's a, a good, um, relatively inexpensive alternative to um, silicon carbide, and it's going to hold up much better. Um, we'll be able to use it uh, multiple uh, times and wash it and keep it in a folder to, to uh, make sure it stays clean. Um, so first step is we use a little bit of water on the back side of the glass and just uh, spritz a little bit on there and the plate will find a, a nice uh, tight position there and we'll do the same thing on the back of the aluminum oxide sheet. Just a quick spray on the back. Since the water is only on the back side, it won't affect our samples, which often uh, paints and varnishes are often water sensitive. So for our lubricant, we use uh, Stoddard solvent, um, uh, uh, a non-aromatic hydrocarbon and that's going to um, sort of smooth our way uh, through the polishing. Um, we'll add you know half, half a dozen or so drops and that's enough for um, lubrication. We don't want to make it super wet because then the sample is just going to be um, floating over the surface. Some polishing with a figure eight pattern. So we use most of the surface of the um, aluminum oxide sheet. We're going up into the corners and the middle is going to be used um, very regularly. So we're making the most of the film. As the saying goes, work out on the edges and the middle takes care of itself. The first stage is the longest. It might take um, uh, a couple of minutes to do this, but you're doing four samples at once, so it's really only 15 seconds a piece. Um, at this point, we'd uh, uh, wipe the sample clean with some uh, cotton padding, um, lithographer's pad, um, and then go to the next stage. If you're lucky enough to have a microscope nearby, you can check uh, to see your progress. Um, the next stage is, um, this is 12 micron grit size. The next stages would be five microns and one micron. So through those three steps, you basically have uh, a well polished surface. And you might go a little farther, maybe a third of a micron, a 0 0.3 micron, to get a final polish. And that's really going to depend on the type of sample that you have. 